we are. And we're here to talk to you about more identity topics. Today we're going to talk about omnichannel. Identity omnichannel, yes. Oh, just identity omnichannel. <laughs> or omnichannel, I, they're both quite nice. Um, a topic that is near and dear to many people's heart, um, oftentimes when you're out there talking about identity, the issue of omnichannel comes up. How do we create a persistent identity through lots of digital channels so that instead of them each individually having their own relative identity interacting with that channel, it's one unified identity? Yeah. <laughs> so let's, let's dive into so that what that means. <laughs> That's the end of the video. So let us dive into what that means. Um, so, so let's look at a, a, a fairly reasonable use case that most of us are sort of used to, right? Mm -hmm. We have a shop, a real physical live shop down on the street. Yes. We walk into the shop, the shopkeeper knows us, says, hi, Alan, and we have an identity, we have a relationship with that store. Mm -hmm. However, the interactions we have with that store extend far beyond just the shop. It may well be on a mobile device. We want to access the same content using our iPad or our phone or something like that. Mm -hmm. An even bigger electronic device, our laptop or our PC. Or in fact, we get home and discover we got the wrong product. And so now we pick up the telephone and we actually call the help desk to say, I bought something, it's the wrong one, what do I do with it? Yes. The real challenge that we've got is, how do we associate who we are with all of these different channels? That's right. And please note, this shop is in a dangerous neighborhood because all windows have bars on them, so they're trying to stay quite safe. <laughs> so let's talk about that. And, and this one's on the web, equally dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So. Let's draw a picture. So what we really want to do is have a box. Yes. Right? And this is where we're going to put, oops, that's not an M. But identity and access management. I, I understand. You, I got the M. Yes. So what we really want to actually have is all of these different systems connecting to the same underlying identity so that no matter how we access the content, we know who it is that's calling. We know that the person who walked into the store here and bought product is the same person that's phoning us because it doesn't work. So, so just to build on that and to give some meaning to these arrows, it could be that you're going to a, a retail clothing store and they have a mobile app and you need to authenticate to that mobile app. There may be policy decisions about what you can access. There may be data about you that they use to personalize that mobile app. Absolutely. And you want that same identity service to propagate and persist potentially at a digital kiosk where you might be trying on clothing at that store. Sure. And that might be making recommendations to you. Or if you decide later, maybe you're in the retail store and you, you try it all on and you like it, but you're not sure you want to buy it. But then you go home and at you know, 12 o'clock at night, you're sitting there when snacking you on something, a little buys, bit of right? tea, and the impulse buy comes and now you want to actually log into the laptop and you want all the stuff that happened in these different scenarios to persist here, and you just go and buy it in your shopping cart. Right. And now you actually get it through the mail. It's the wrong size. Now you have to call customer service, and they need to know who you are and what that identity and is, that and you they need it. to authenticate. Right. And the, the story we tell seems very straightforward. Mm -hmm. right? It seems absolutely logical. That's incredibly hard to do. Yes. Right now, each one of these is a, if they even have all of the different channels, each one of them is their own separate stack. Yes. Right? And what we're really trying to give them is a way to bring that all together so that it's relatively easy and simple to be able to bring all of these channels together yep. and work with one another. So I think that's a great point. And probably the perfect way to summarize this, which is historically, all of these digital channels have been treated as individual silos with different identity systems. And what we're saying is there's a lot of businesses out there that don't want that because they rep they recognize the value to their customers of having a persistent identity across all these channels. And so by breaking down those silos, getting rid of those different identity silos and creating one unified centralized identity that plugs into all these things, that's the way to go. Absolutely. Thank you everyone. Okay, before we start, are we recording? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What are we doing? Take one. <laughs>